What is up, Finn fans? I was not expecting to make two videos today. I made the one video earlier about practice and about Brian Flores, about who was there, who wasn't there, and about Andrew Locke and some other things. But then, breaking news about an hour ago, hour and a half ago, the Miami Dolphins released TJ McDonald. <clears throat> I have the cap ramifications here. I got some news, some, some details, some all that stuff. But let's first jump into the why. I just hit into the desk. I don't know why. No one will know why. Because Brian Flores and this new coaching staff and front office and all that stuff won't ever tell you why. Because it's none of our GD business. <clears throat> Me personally, I think the reason why is through preseason and through OTAs and stuff, um, we started seeing some more safeties pop up. We started seeing some more players play better. I also think that he is dealing with a nagging injury that the Dolphins at this point are like, look, dude, Rashad Jones is already back practicing. Bobby McCain isn't doing too bad. Walt Aikens is, is a good, viable backup. We have also have Mika Fitzpatrick. All right, we'd put you at linebacker. Aguavin's doing great. Baker's doing great. You know, Kiko's coming back. We have all these, we have this depth, all this stuff. It's just not working. So then you think, trade them. Why don't you just trade them? And I'll talk about that in a second because <clears throat> I'm going to talk about some cap space and all that jazz. But this did surprise me. I did not expect the Dolphins to cut TJ McDonald. I did expect them, if they were going to do anything, why not trade him? And I, I assume a lot of you guys would probably be asking yourself that. Like, why, why wouldn't you just trade him? Why are you going to flat out just cut him? So let's go into some of the money situation. And then I'll give you guys maybe more in-depth on my feeling of why the Dolphins cut him. So while cutting him, this also... it. it he, this, there's got to be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Health issues, attitude issues, wanting Rashad Jones to be the, the predominant safety opposite Bobby McCain. Because we, <clears throat> with the cut, we are carrying $4.6 million in dead money. We're only saving $1.4 million. So it's a lot of dead money. It, it doesn't really, you know, level out. So this year alone, we have $37 million in debt money from dumb com contracts that we've done in the past. And Dominic and Sue's, the Ryan Tannehill's, you know, all the dumb contracts we've done in the past, we are carrying $37 million in debt money in 2019. I think next year there is no debt money, or I think next year is the last year of debt money, and I don't think it's that much. Whereas our contracts going forward and the dead money being carried going forward isn't that drastic anymore or at any or any dead money at all. Next this year we still have <clears throat> 22 million under the cap. 20, 22 million in between there under the cap. So we still have a lot of money this year. Next year we'll have about 60 million under the cap, but that's before letting certain players go. And that's before maybe Rashad Jones, Kiko Alonso. You know, certain players being let go, and then all of a sudden we're back. We're at 90 to 100 million under the cap next year. So now let's talk about why didn't they trade TJ McDonald? Why, why are we just cutting him straight out? If the Dolphins were to trade TJ McDonald, this is what the opposing team would be taking on, which isn't bad, if you ask me. This isn't bad, but apparently it is. They'd be taking on a one year. $5 million contract this year. And then for the next two years, it's $6 million each year, but they're both opt-out years. So essentially, they're getting him for one year, $5 million, And then, uh, so they're getting him for three years, <clears throat> $17 million. The one year, $5 million this year, then two $6 million years, but they're both opt-outs. That makes him the 18th highest paid safety in the NFL. And... If you guys know, I think it was the last two off seasons ago, safeties weren't getting paid, safeties weren't getting signed, safeties, nothing was happening with the safeties. So no one wants to pay safeties anymore. Eric Berry's still out there. Um, Tyron Matthew didn't get much. You know, Earl Thomas got a pretty penny go to Baltimore, but they're not getting as much as you would think. So TJ McDonald, he's a good safety. Don't get me wrong. He did he did play well for the Dolphins. You can't say that the guy sucked as a Dolphin. He did play way, well as a Dolphin. Um, <clears throat> I think the way the Dolphins are thinking right now is they prefer to have Rashad Jones go back to the position that he thrives in and have Bobby McCain or 
Walt Aikens or Mika Fitzpatrick playing that roaming safe, that uh, over the top safety, and just instead of having that competition where, you know, all right, TJ's gonna have to go in, all right, then put Rashad in because he's gonna get pissed and vice versa. And also, we can't really trade nor cut Rashad Jones because his contract is way more lucrative and way more ridiculous than TJ McDonald's. So I honestly think that the Dolphins probably did try to trade uh, TJ McDonald. They probably did reach out to players. Maybe they reached out to the Texans. You know, they don't have Tyron Matthew anymore. Maybe they, uh, or yeah, because he was on the Texans. They, they don't have that safety anymore. Maybe they reached out to him. Hey, J Jadavion Clowney, TJ McDonald, and, Ke and um, Kenny Stills. Maybe they did throw that at them and they were like, no, because TJ McDonald is, he's getting too, he's getting paid too much for the type of player he is now. Um, but they didn't trade him. They just flat out cut him. Again, didn't see this coming. I was doing stuff. I was busy doing stuff. I, I put running boards on my girlfriend's Jeep and then I changed her tire because she had a flat. I was doing stuff. And all of a sudden, I, you guys hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Because I broke it, I, I tweet, retweeted it before I could sit down and make a video. But you guys broke it on Twitter. And I was like, what? So I had to make a video. I had to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> my personal opinion, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Um, what bothers me is the $4.6 in dead cap versus the $1.4 in savings. That's what bothers me. It bothers me we're getting nothing back in return. But the fact of him being gone off the team, I think Rashad is a better safety. And I think to put him at linebacker would be redundant and would just... Van Ginkle is the same type of player as him. Kiko is the same type of player as him. Aguavin is the same type of player as him. We have depth at that position. So it only made sense for the Dolphins to just cut him. You know, they probably, like I said, they probably tried to get something for him because people need safeties. Um, Patriots, but I don't think that... I don't know if they really called the Patriots with Chung dealing with the, you know, the, the drug charges. But yeah, the Dolphins cut uh, TJ McDonald. That's not going to be the first or only crazy move that's happening. I could see this Dolphin team maybe making some bigger, crazier moves, maybe trades. Again, there's the talk, the Jadavion Clowney talk is revving up, and the Jadavion Clowney talk is, is getting bigger and bigger. Someone even said next 24 to 48 hours yesterday said that. Expect the move to be made. Uh, but he has to sign his tenure first. And then also, let me talk about the J Jadavion Clowney. Well, kick my camera. He also has to want to go to the team. So if he signs his tenure, his tender, tenure, tender, whatever it is, he'd have to want to go to the team. So he'd have to want to come play for the Dolphins. Who, if you honestly, like, are the Dolphins going to the Super Bowl this year? More likely than not. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm not saying it can't happen. More likely than not, they're going to the Super Bowl. If he had a choice between other teams, he'd probably take other teams. The only way you would get him here is to do what we've done in the past, which is overpay him to get him to come here. And the Dolphins aren't about that anymore, if you can tell from the Dolphins cutting TJ McDonald. So with the whole trade situation, you know, like I said, expect more things to happen. Maybe they just do a straight up Kenny Stills clowny trade. You know, that's a possibility. There's some, you know, they just lost TJ, uh, they just lost Miller, Lamar Miller, which sucks towards ACL. You, you never know. Things are going to start happening. People are going to start moving. Dolphins are going to start to try to help this team out. I'm hoping they'll start to trade maybe for a right tackle or a right guard because the right side of the Dolphins offensive line scares the crap out of me. Kick my camera again that second time. I'm, I'm going to the corner. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Just kidding. But yeah, Miami Dolphins cut TJ McDonald, take another $4.6 in dead cap this year, and rev and revving it up to $37 million in dead cap this year. But like I said, I think this is the last year we deal with dead cap. I think next year we start fresh. Got about $66 million next year in cap space. That will go up when cuts happen, when things happen. So I can do, I do expect us to be around the 90 to $100 million in uh, cap space next year. Um, things will change too. That this is a rough estimate of next year having 200 uh, million cap space. So if it does go up more, the Dolphins get more. This is just an estimate that I saw over the cap with. So yeah, TJ McDonald cut. It, I, I'm indifferent about it. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's anything we should really worry about because we have depth at safety. We have extreme depth at safety. I always said that safety was probably the deepest, best position we had. We have extreme depth at safety, and with Aguavin stepping up and doing really well, linebacker I'm, I'm okay with too. So him being cut 
really doesn't bother me. I would just wish we would have got something in return, but it is what it is. Be sure to comment below, fellas. Let me know what you guys think of the cut. Do you think it's stupid? Do you think they should have kept him? Do you think they won't give him for, you know, at least get a seventh sake, get some type of peanuts for the dude? I wanted something. Comment below. Let me know. I love having conversations with you guys. I have to go through the comments for the first video. I like chatting with you guys. I went through some, but I want to go through them all. Talk to you guys. Thursday, preseason game. I usually go half hour before the game starts, so I will be live streaming that. I, if, you, if you haven't wa watched yet, go back, watch my earlier video from today. Brian Flores talks about the quarterback position and whether he made a decision with, uh, here comes a fire truck, whether he made a decision with who's starting week one. I'm not going to spoil it. Go back, watch the video. Also talked about Andrew Luck and some other things. But other than that, follow me on Twitter, like I said. Check out the Bit Boys video games. If you like video games, you like that comedy, hit the subscribe button. Hit this thumbs up. Breaking news. News every day. Breaking news. Crazy news. It's not going to stop. You're going to get it from me. Hit this thumbs up because, you you know, it shows me you like what you like what I'm doing. It makes, you know, all right, I'm going to keep doing it this way. If not, I'm going to change it up just to, you know, what do you guys like? So give this video a thumbs up. If you're watching this on DolphinsTalk.com, how are you doing? Be sure to check them out. Great site. Really great site. I think I'm doing a podcast with them tomorrow. When that's up, I'll let you guys know about that. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. i got a lot planned. I'm going to add something to my repertoire, which is helping you guys pick your fantasy lineup. I think I'm doing that on top of picks, on top of pregame, on top of postgame. Hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I'll see you guys with the next video. When would it be? We don't know, but you know if it's breaking news, you're going to get it from me. And if not, if there's press conferences, practice news, all that stuff, you're going to get it from me. Other than that, stay classy and fins up.